What's up everybody? Evan here from Evans Detailing and Polishing. Breaking down the grinders. Some pro tips, um, just trying to help everybody figure out which grinder they wanna go with. Honestly, it's personal preference. Personal preference is the number one thing with your grinders. Uh, I know a lot of people use a lot of different models. Uh, Makita, DeWalt, Milwaukee, some of the Harbor Freight ones, tool shop stuff. Uh, everybody uses whatever brand they're comfortable with or whatever brand they can afford. Uh, what I'm actually gonna break down today is just strictly Makita versus DeWalt. Um, I carry both machines in my shop. Uh, we carry both Makita full speed 6000s and we carry both uh, Makita and DeWalt variable speed 3500 or less RPM. So what we're gonna break down, get into it here, the Makita 6000 RPM versus the DeWalt 6000 RPM. This one here isn't the actual DeWalt 6000 RPM, we're just trying to save some space here. The Makita uh, 6000 RPM is a GA7021. This is the one that I heavily use in my shop. Um, the weight is lighter than the DeWalt's. Uh, the torque is a little higher than the DeWalt's and the speed is 6000 RPM. Uh, the DeWalt ones are a little bit heavier. Uh, that number is DWE4599. Um, they're a little heavier. The speed runs about 6,500 RPM and the torque is a little less. So at 6,500 RPM, when I put a little pressure on, it slows down to about 5,900, 6,000, varies in between there. Um, so that's where your speed's at when you're under pressure. Um, I like using the Makita personally in my shop just because of the consistency. As we all know, consistency in your polish is what makes your polish that much better. Um, the fluctuation a little bit in DeWalt, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but a little bit of fluctuation between 5,900 RPM and 6,500 RPM can make a world of difference in your shine. Uh, the same thing goes for the variable speeds, the 3,500 RPM models. Makita is a 9227C, and this DeWalt right here is a DWP849X. Um, they're both about the same weight, uh, the only difference that I notice between the two is the Makita holds its torque. Um, especially on these variables, you usually put a little more pressure on with a variable than you do with the high speeds because the high speeds will build up heat faster. But with these variables, uh, the torque makes a world of difference. Uh, Makita, you can go across stuff and it'll keep maintain that speed really thick and easy. Uh, the DeWalt's will slow down quite a bit. So I find myself ramping my speed up a little higher on the DeWalt's than where I wanna be when I start putting pressure on versus the Makita. When I grab the Makita and I set the speed to where I want it, it holds really well for me. But that's pretty much it. Uh, for breaking them down, as we all know, I use heavily Makita in my shop, but I also have some DeWalt's. I just compensate a little bit for the DeWalt's for the torque and I get the same finish. I haven't had any issues. Um, both machines are great machines. They both last really well. They're all easy to pull apart and clean out. Um, simple pull off the dust covers and spray them out kind of stuff. Um, we do also have some other videos on my YouTube channel on how to break apart the Makitas, pull them apart and completely clean them out. Uh, we'll be doing a video soon on pulling the DeWalt's apart as well and cleaning them out, but that's a whole nother video. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch these videos. Check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Evan Stager Metal Polishing, and check us out on Facebook through our multiple franchises, Evan's Detailing and Polishing. 